Hey girl, hey, it's Nita, and today I'm sharing with you guys a haul from Target. Who doesn't love Target, girl? So, this was not intentional. I went in Target actually to get Jada some bubble bath, and I saw so many essentials um, items for the spring. At least they're essentials to me. These are very basic items. They're not statement pieces, but they are pieces that I think are essential for most wardrobes, again, because that depends on your personal preference. But for me, these are essentials that I plan on wearing this spring and summer season. So I want to share with you guys what I got in case you are in the market or needing to add a few essentials to your wardrobe to spruce it up and get ready for the warmer temps. Everything that I share in today's video, I will have a link, direct link to the item in the description box down below. I would greatly appreciate it if you choose to buy anything from the video that you use my link to purchase because not only do I get a small commission, but it lets the brands know that you guys do value and trust my opinion. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy because it helps YouTube to share it to more people, okay? That's all I got. <laughs> now let's get into the haul. So we're gonna kick off today's haul with the top that I'm wearing today. This is from Target, you guys. I love this top. If you don't know, I do love very feminine, girly pieces. I'm definitely that girl. And pink is my favorite color. So when I saw this top, girl you know i went ahead and grabbed it now if you're not a pink girl this does come in black and white now the black and white versions are from the who what where i believe that's the name of the collection at target and this is from a new day so those the ruffle is like bigger so i didn't like the way that looked on me um, so, but I will link both down below. You'll check it out and see if it's your preference. I do think this one comes in, I want to say 10. Don't quote me on that, but I'll have the link down below for you guys. Both links to this one and the one from the Who Would Wear collection. I am wearing a size extra large, I believe. Now, one thing I want to note about this one, it does have an elastic waistband on the shirt. When I saw it on the hanger, I was not a fan, but when I put it on, I was like, oh, okay, I like the way this looks. So... Don't be surprised by that, you guys. I would say if you do like it, try it on and see if you like it. If you don't like that, the shirts from the Who, What, Wear, the ones from that collection do not have the elastic waistband at the bottom. They're just a straight top with, again, the ruffle top, the ruffle um, neck. So one. first up, I'm going to talk about the dresses that I picked up from Target. And again, everything that I purchased in this haul is more of what I would consider basics for my wardrobe and just casually cute pieces that I can throw on quickly to go run errands, go take my daughter somewhere, just cute casual things that I don't have to think about. I can grab and throw it on and go. So first thing I picked up was this beautiful um, baby, doll, baby doll styled dress. I love baby doll dresses. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I personally love them. I did get it in a size double uh, XL. The extra large fit great. However, it was very tight in the boob area. It made them look like they were smushed in. So I did size up to the double XL. I really like baby doll style dresses or smock type dresses like these because they are very loose and airy for my babes who complain about the tummy and the fupa. These are very flattering in that they do not hug the fupa. They're not body con. They're just easy. Now, if you feel like they're not as flattering on you, what I like to do with these types of dresses is add a belt at the waist. So I did go ahead and share with you guys how I do that and how it would look. Um, I do think I actually got this belt from Target as well, but I got it a while ago. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. But I do like to belt these dresses as well. I wear them both ways with and without a belt, but I wanted to share with you guys how it looks. So if you feel like Maybe they're not as flattering or if you want something to give you a little bit more shape, you can add a belt and that would easily, you know, give you a little bit more shape with this style of dress. But I like to wear it both ways and I love this dress. I think I shared with y'all after I got this dress, I went ahead and ordered it in the pink online because they didn't have any other, I think they only had up to like a medium in the store that I went to. So yes, girl, you'll see me in this in the spring and summer. I'm so excited. I also picked up another dress and it is this gorgeous black and white uh, dress and it kind of has, I believe it's like an A-line skirt. Now what I love about this dress is the cutouts on the side. I think they're so cute and sexy and this dress does, this dress does also have pockets. Who doesn't love a pocket, okay? Now this dress is giving me brunch, you know? It's giving me brunch, it's giving me... 
I was about to say church. Now, if I was to wear this to church, I would wear a shirt underneath to cover the side so it would look like, you know, just a geometric print and not a actual cutout shape. That's another tip. If you want to do dresses like these, I know cutouts are very on trend right now, cutouts in all different places. So if you find an outfit that you like that has a cutout that you, you know, you kind of like it, but you don't want that area of your body to show, you can do a shirt underneath. You could do your shapewear underneath if it's a black shapewear and do it like that and it'll literally just look like you know a print in the um in the item if if they if you get what i mean so but yeah i love this dress it is kind of cinched at the waist it has a little bit of elastic there and then we have our full skirt and i just love this like i said it's giving me brunch vibes it's giving me like step for wives or something like that but i really really like it so in the video i am wearing it with black flat sandals and i don't know if i did this in video but i know i took a picture with this outfit and then the citrus color um or the chartreuse color bag that i shared with you guys from amazon a few weeks ago I love those colors together. You could also do literally any color with this black and white, or it's more of a black and off-white dress. I do love the print and pattern, and then I think that, you know, to make it more spring and summer appropriate, you can add a popping color bag, a popping color lip. If you wanted to do a popping color shoe, you could as well, but that's how we're bringing color to this if you want to, but do love this dress so, so much. I also love the length. I'm five foot two and it's not dragging the ground. Praise God, okay? I don't have to have it him, but um, yeah, love, love, love this dress. I did get it in a size double XL. Um, the extra large in this one, the same. It was like snug at the chest. So I went ahead and got a double XL and it fits great. It's a little loose in the waist, but like it's fine. So got this dress, love it. So the last dress that I picked up is the definition of a get up and go outfit and it is this black dress that I picked up from Target. I got a size extra large and this is from the yeah a new day collection as well. I saw this actually on my way out the door and I went ahead and threw it in a bag girl because I needed it. I told you guys I'm looking for more basic um, items to add to my wardrobe. I find that I have a lot of statement pieces but not enough just casual everyday items. And this is something that I needed just to throw on and go. Um, I will wear this with either sandals like I have in the video on the side or tennis shoes. And I can wear this to take Jay to the school, to the nail shop, run errands, grocery store, you know, run into the mall, run it, just whatever. This is just a throw on and go dress. You know, it's just cute, it's simple, it's comfortable. I can wear this to one of Jada's soccer games. Like, it's just easy. And I am all about ease, but it's still cute in my opinion. So yeah, got this one and I like her. So the next few items that I picked up from Target are my basic t-shirts and tanks and shorts. So first I'm gonna start off with just my uh, tanks. I always pick these up from Target. These are just the rib tanks that they have from a new day these are eight dollars i love to get these like i feel like every time i go in target or every couple of times i pick up one in a different color they're just again easy to throw on with jeans or shorts or under something if i need to and i picked up this color because i thought it was super cute it's just um it's like a brick color a brick brown reddish brown and these are like i said they're eight dollars so just an easy something to have very basic essential in your wardrobe so in the clip with the ribbed tank i am wearing these shorts from ava viv or ava viv i think yeah from target i'm wearing a size 16 these do have quite a bit of stretch you guys they're very very comfortable i probably could have even sized down but I, I kept it just to make sure that i have room they're comfortable and you know when i throw them in the dryer they don't get like you know they don't shrink too much on me so i picked these up and i love these i needed some bermuda shorts to add to my collection because i only have one pair that i bought a couple of years ago you guys, every store that I've been in as of late, as they've been putting out shorts, I've been seeing a lot of short shorts. Like, honey, I, I can't have my cheeks out in the summertime, okay? I'm not trying to do that. I'm okay with showing some thigh, but I'm not okay with these little eeny beeny teeny shorts <laughs> that I've been seeing lately. So, I was happy to see these, and I went ahead and picked them up. So... We got our Bermuda shorts, thank God. Now, I also purchased one of my favorite uh, spring wardrobe essentials just for my personal uh, wardrobe, and it is a button-down, an oversized button-down top. I picked this one up in a double XL, and I love this top, you guys. What I love about oversized button-downs in the spring, I say spring more than summer because the summer is too hot for extra layers, but in the spring, you know, it's cool, so we need a little something, and this is great for our Texas spring because 
I can't do a cardigan here in the spring. It's just too hot for that. But a t-shirt is a perfect layering piece that's not too hot. So I like to wear them kind of like this with uh, a shirt and some shorts, a shirt and jeans. I also love wearing these with a crop top because I don't like for my back to show when I wear a crop top, but I am okay with showing a little midriff. So I'll put an oversized shirt over a crop top and jeans or a crop top and shorts. I also like to wear oversized shirts um, kind of crisscross the top and wear them like that. I did go ahead and show you guys what I mean by that in the video on the side. You can kind of see what I mean by that. But I love oversized button downs because you can do a few different things with it. You can tie it all kind of different ways. It's just a few of my favorite ways to wear them. Um, I think you, if you've been around, if you saw last summer, I have a white one that I wear all the time that I wear tucked into some shorts a few different ways. Um, I just love oversized button down shirts. I only have white so far, so I was excited to see the stripes. And I've definitely been on the hunt for a few different colors. I saw a pink one at H&M that I did add to my cart. I haven't checked out yet. I hope it's still there. But, um, but yeah, love these. I highly recommend you to grab these. Um, if you're into layering like that in the spring and summer, definitely grab this top um, to add to your wardrobe. I also picked up a couple of just basic t-shirts from Target. And I got these shirts. They're just a basic... Um, shirt these are ten dollars i'm wearing a size large in these and i got it in white black and then like this um, mint green color that you'll see me wearing in the clip i got them again i always pick up a, a t-shirt from target because they're nice quality in my opinion and i like this one because of the sides it kind of gives me i don't know if you guys remember i think last year or maybe year before last the frankie shop t-shirt they had like the shoulder pads and it was kind of cut off I don't really see them as much anymore, but this kind of gives me that vibe. It's not as strong in the shoulder because it doesn't have the uh, shoulder pads, but it kind of gives me that vibe because the shoulders are just kind of rolled on the side. And I just like the way that looks. So I did pick it up in white, black, and then the mint color that you guys see um, in, it's not mint, I'm sorry, more of a sage green that you guys will see in the clip on the side. Next up, I picked up a pair of acid wash shorts from um, Ava Vive or Ava Vive as well um, in a size 16. Now, I got these because I did like the raw hem. If you guys don't know, if you haven't noticed with the jeans, I am a lover of a raw hem. I just think it's, it's nice. It adds a little something to jeans or shorts. However, I'm not a big fan of acid wash, but I like these shorts. So you can see the tag is still on them because I'm, I'm unsure as to whether I'm gonna keep these or not. I'm just not sure, um, but they do fit great. I am wearing a size 16 in these as well. They fit great in the waist. They are comfortable. They do have a little bit of stretch as just like the uh, Bermuda shorts that I shared with you guys. Um, like I said, I'm just honestly not sure if I'm going to keep them because I'm not a big lover of acid wash. That's literally the only thing that I don't like about these shorts. And in store, I didn't see any other wash in this particular pair. So I got them, but I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you guys into acid wash? I've been seeing it a lot lately because you guys know that like when it comes to denim, the 90s denim is bad with the baggy jeans and the straight leg jeans and all of that. And I've been seeing a lot of acid wash. Well, not just lately in the last few years, but I'm just not a big acid wash fan, but I do like these shorts. So let me know if you guys are into acid wash in the comments, but um, yeah, I'm torn about these shorts. I'm not quite sure. Now, Target also does have quite a few items in the linen category. I don't know if they're actually linen or if it's linen-like material, but either way, I'm just gonna say linen. Um, and I picked up just a black pair of linen shorts because I don't have a black pair. And I felt like I would do this instead of some of the colors that they have because I know that I can wear this with so many different things. Black, of course, can be worn with literally anything from color to denim to white, whatever have you. So I went ahead and picked these up and I am wearing a size double XL in these. So I got these, but also I wanna note, they do have an orange color that has a matching blazer that was so cute. And I went back and forth about whether I wanted that set, but I just don't see myself wearing a linen set like that. I don't, I just don't foresee myself wearing it. So I went ahead and left it, but it is super cute. So if you're interested, I will have it linked down below or check it out at your local Target. They have it in orange. And then that said, they also had in a denim and white stripe, like thin stripes. They had that one in shorts and a blazer and they had pants and a blazer to match. So if you're looking for that, if you're into the linen suit set, they do have that at Target. 
I also picked up a pair of black sandals. Not that I needed another pair, but I just like to have black sandals because they're easy. And um, I picked up this pair as well with the woven detail on the top. And you guys, these are so comfortable. Both of them are comfortable, but these have some extra cushion and padding right here. These are so good, okay? They also had these in a bright, um, what's like a, I'll say a bright pink for lack of better words. I'll insert a picture uh, in the video, but they did have that color. I didn't get it because I have a purse that color and I literally never wear it. So I went ahead and left it, but it is cute. And if you like bright sandals, I would definitely say to check those out. But I just got black because you can never go wrong with a black sandal. And I like this style of sandal. I also picked up these sandals that you guys have been seeing throughout the entire video. Somehow I did not record the clip of me actually showing the sandals, but these have that same square uh, front like the black sandals. I got a size nine. I love them and they also come in black, but I like the embellishments on these. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's haul. And um, what I want to do or what I try to do in today's haul, and I try to do this most times, but I want to be very intentional about doing it moving forward. When I do the haul videos, I want to share with you guys why I purchased the pieces that I did and how I kind of work them into my wardrobe, okay? Now, of course, everything is not everyone's cup of tea. These are from my wardrobe. It's my personal preference, right? However, I hope that when I share with you guys the thought process behind why I purchased the pieces, I hope that it helps you when you're shopping and you're looking for things to go into your wardrobe, whether you're watching these hauls or you go into the store or you're going online. I hope that you kind of get a feel for how you can think through purchasing your items. Um, I think I shared with you guys that I recently did a big closet purge and what I found is that I had a lot of statement pieces and just a lot of pieces that I genuinely loved. However, I did not have enough pieces that I would wear in my day-to-day -day life. Of course, I'm an influencer. Of course, I take photos and things of that nature, but in my everyday life, I'm not walking around in a pink frilly dress you know what I'm saying so you know not to say that I wouldn't buy that because of course I have them however I want to make sure that I have these essential pieces that are easy for me to grab and go in my everyday life so I want you to be equipped with some knowledge to um make your shopping process easier and make make sure that you guys create a closet that you love okay if you haven't already, make sure you're following me on Instagram at the Nita Danielle. I'm also on TikTok, Nita Danielle there. We have the blog, NitaDanielle.com. And if I didn't say it already, make sure you subscribe to the video if you enjoyed and you want to see more like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye.